exactly. I mean, Squirtle probably. Squirtle. Don't go solo Zard because then you have to like switch through both Pokemon. Yeah. yeah once yeah, you exactly. respawn, it's just waste your invincibility. Uh, we're not going to be seeing solo Zard. Instead, we're going to be seeing the dynamic style of uh, Bonkai. And I really do mean that. He, some Pokemon trainer players, you know, they sort of go Ivysaur and ride or die. Yeah. Uh, but he is not afraid to switch. And not only that, like, he switches in those sort of micro situations where, like, he'll recognize, oh, like, my opponent's about to land on this platform. Let me switch to Ivy Sword. Oh. Uh, yeah, so what happened there was he did the, the drop zone down air, right? And then he wanted to cover himself with a jump thunder, but he didn't jump, so the thunder just straight up missed him. And when you don't hit yourself with the thunder, you have so much lag. Oh, this is actually uh, another thing with Pokemon Trainer. There are certain moves that will confirm really well. Uh, yeah, you know, just really in the weird. game. But the thing is that because each of the Pokemon have a different weight, have a different size, if you are in the range for one of the characters, you can just switch to the other. Yeah, and it, uh, I'm pretty sure it's like frame one uh, intangibility. Yep. So. Uh, it's going to be swapping. Yeah. Now we're going to be seeing the Charizard. I think he's probably going to be staying Charizard, actually, just considering, you know, survivability. That should be yeah, good. Yeah, about that. All right, Jump Hunt not doing too bad, even though he has seed. Uh, Bonkai going into Ivysaur right away. Uh, uh, I'd say like maybe five, ten more percent. He's in like that golden down throw B window. Just gotta follow the DI and that'll be a stock for sure. Yeah, and you see him looking for it. 65 is probably a pretty good window by the edge. All right, let's see if he's looking for this grab. All right, throwing out these Razor Leafs, but mainly as just sort of a uh, keep them at bay tool. Yeah. And even if he gets close, like the point blank Razor Leaf, it's so good for converting oh, it to up air. Yeah. Up air, up B. Oh, oh, speaking of up air. Yeah, miss tag, gonna get that up air. Even if you tag it, something to just get up air. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like, so it's, active. Just up air, just cover all options. I feel like it would. Yeah, I mean, depending on timing, right? You could use like the tech invincibility. Sometimes get away from it. Because you also get stopped to the ground quicker. I wonder if you could like immediately up air and then like once again jump up air up and air, it covers yeah. the whole platform if they tech roll yeah. out. That sounds silly. All right, here we go. Landing back air is so good for Ivysaur at low percent. Honestly, for a lot of percent, landing back air is really good. Yeah, yeah, you get you five can combo it into up B too. Yep. All right, that's, that's gonna be a stock. Joe Pone keeping this competitive right now. Uh, Bonkai gonna go into Squirtle now. I like that high up B. A lot of people don't expect that on Squirtle because they, but the hitboxes on his up B are pretty solid. Yeah. Ooh, and the linger on forward smash gonna catch that spot dodge from Bonkai. All right, Joe Pone just side being away. Doesn't want to deal with landing on Ivysaur, and I don't blame him. But it does mean that he gets put at the ledge. Yeah. Which, I mean, yes, the ledge is better than landing on an Ivysaur, but it's still a crummy place to be. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd way rather be at the ledge than on top of Ivysaur. All right, switching to Charizard, I guess he yeah, just wants to grab. end this. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, and that was so risky from Joe Pone. Air dodging in like that? I have to say that there is risk to the Charizard pick as well. Yeah, you He's could just very straight up, yeah, not with neutral, and then, like, Joe Pone's back in this. Oh. Oh no, okay, he actually recovers. And now this is the last hit situation, and that's he, the last hit. He quick attacked right in front of him. I think he probably wanted to go behind him, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe mess up like the diagonal to cross him up. Yeah, just hit straight down. It's just yeah. so hard to get that consistently. There's yeah. so many angles you have to manage, and bleh. Yeah. And definitely, I, I play Pichu, so like, I know how it feels when you mess up like a diagonal and go straight down. It's so annoying. All right, so Talos, uh, pretty standard pick for for like rats because like they, they want to shoot thunder jolts and like keep their distance and then whip punish you once you like once they make you commit to an option by like throwing out so many projectiles. So not only that, the higher ceiling works out very well against Ivysaur. Yeah, yeah. Uh, up air is not going to be up air and up B are not going to be killing quite as early. They're still going to kill you super early, but like not as early. So in the end isn't that a victory. Yeah. Well, one thing about Pokemon Trainer, specifically Squirtle's combos on this stage, can be <laughs> seriously nutty. Yeah, extend them on the platform towards the edge. You're, 
you get like 50 damage and then you have an edge trapping position. Oh yeah, and you can even do the like sort of like forward air, forward air, like reset, forward air, forward air, then switch to Ivy Stone, go for an up B, yeah. and you can still switch back to Charizard and recover. It, there's some really cool stuff that Pokemon Trainer can do. Oh! Yeah. And Bonkai going for a high jump read, but then Joe Pone went low and he just like drops him down. That was, a, that was a bait. Yeah. He went high so that Joe Pone thought he was safe. But, you know, up air sends him down. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I'm claiming. Just extra level baits. Yeah, but we were talking about the platforms for Pikachu, but Ivysaur, he can pressure that platform really well. He just runs under and does the Vine Whip and it... It will, it will temper if you if you get it. Not only that, but the platforms are really working out for him in terms of playing around this more defensive game that Joe Pone is now trying to start. You know, he has the lead, which means that yeah. if he doesn't want to interact with these Thunder Jolts, he can just not. Oh! All right. Yep, and gets the uh, the right bind whip angle for the DIN. And he's up three stocks to one right now, so Bonkai in a good position to take the set and move on in the bracket. That's pro yeah, that's probably yeah, good. Charizard does go down, though. Just going for up so I feel like I was maybe like hoping that he would misjudge invincibility. Yeah. And when he's in Squirtle, I want to see Joe Pone poke with more down tilts because that's definitely a really good poking tool for Pikachu. Uh, down tilt's actually kind of laggy. Forward tilt is like the one that's like Diddy Kong. Like just real quick. What? Uh, Squirtle forward tilt. No, no, no. I was talking about Pikachu. Oh, down Pikachu. Tilt. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then again, I feel like the air game is, and like being in the air against these characters is actually okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay, good good angle for Joe Pone. Gonna make it back. And this is just one grab away, one razor leap away, one good jump read away. Charizard now. This hasn't really been working out for him before. Oh, oh no. Oh yeah, no, he he's him. gone. No, he's not. No, yes, he's, he is. Yeah, he, Wow! If you, if you don't bounce on the wall, you have too much lag with Flare Woods to make it back. All right, and Ivysaur coming out. He's gonna go for these jump reads with the up air. Joe Pone resetting to the ledge. This is the last stock scenario, so he wants to play as like safe as possible. Oh yeah, on <laughs> that platform, it's like it, you want to retreat there, but then once Ivysaur gets underneath you, it's just so yeah. scary. I think we're probably gonna see a quick switch from this Charizard. Uh, the, he had, just has not been working out yeah. for him until now. Uh, up there won't do it, so back door for the stage position. All right, good quick attack to that platform. He wants to reset. I'd maybe like to see him parrying these Thunder Jolts a little bit. Just because, yeah. you know, the extra little bit of shield stun that they have, like, right. really help uh, Joe Cole get back to uh, neutral. All right, and one grab away. There. Honestly, we're getting close to one grab from either player. Let's not forget that there. Yeah, uh, and you can't just dash grab in neutral when it, it's so risky to get dash grabbed. Okay. And playing from behind like that, it's, you have to play perfectly. Yeah. You can't make a single mistake in that one time where you just get too overconfident, go for a risky option like that dash grab. That is all she yeah. wrote. I feel I feel like Joe Pone was playing a really nice like anti grab game and anti like just I don't want to get hit game with with the neutral bees and like quick attacking away in a position where he couldn't like punish him if he went through shield. So I I mean like Joe Pone played from a deficit both games, but I I mean it, w it was still like rather competitive.